So now for tomorrow. So the vision, the mission for the future. Um, Chris, you want to talk about where you see this thing going? And, and, and if we were together, let's say three, four or five years from today, looking back on this first episode, you know, what would have to happen? Uh, throughout that experience for you to feel just overwhelmingly uh, grateful or satisfied or, or, or um, you know, just thrilled with, with the progress we've made as a podcast? Well, I mean, I, I certainly um, look forward to growing our audience and expanding our footprint. Um, we definitely want to connect with like-minded people, people that are interested in growing, scaling, um, and improving their processes, improving their customer experience, improving their, their uh, new client acquisition. Um, that's what we're all about. We're about sharing our information and 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 sharing the the 60 years combined mark sales and marketing experience that we have um, with our audience and and and, and bringing on people that uh, we know personally um, and that can share their words of wisdom. Uh, we just want to be a beacon of inspiration uh, as a podcast and 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 you know have fun doing it. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Um... I would like to explain a little bit about where I see uh, digital marketing and all of marketing going. Uh, and that is, um, you know, often we hear of things, uh, account based marketing, which is uh, how can how can we get away from projects and be more of a managed services model. And I've got some experience with with managed services. I, ha I had a cup of coffee in the IT industry. I've dealt with subscription based as a service models in the past. And, and there was a huge move or push into that monthly recurring revenue model uh, a few years back. And, and it's a great model to be in, and I'm so glad we're there. Um, but it's not just account based, account based marketing for account based marketing sake. It's what it means. And I like to get rid of the word account and replace it with relationship. It's relationship based marketing. The opportunity for Chris and I and all of our team to do business development and digital marketing and, and web services as a service where we are essentially providing these small and not so small businesses with a virtual marketing department, uh, an on-call at your service marketing department where we can really successfully develop, implement and execute growth strategies where the business owner clients can describe for us what it looks like to be where they wanna be and we can strategize using all the tools and resources at our disposal exactly how to get there. So that's what relationship-based marketing means to us. We don't want to do projects where, you know, we can build a website like anybody, probably better than most, but we don't want to just come in, build a website and, and, and get out of there. What we want to do is create an ongoing relationship uh, with our audience, with our clients, where where we're in their business, we're partners in their business. And, and Chris and I, which in my opinion makes us completely unique, we have the ability and the obligation in our opinion to act as fractional CMOs, chief marketing officers. If, if you're going into a small business, anywhere between two, 10, $20 million or less, they, they probably don't have a C-suite that has a chief marketing officer uh, among them. Uh, it, 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 in all of business, Fortune 500, Fortune 100, the, the shortest tenured executive in all of business today is the chief marketing officer. It, it is the most criticized, the most ridiculed, uh, the, the most closely monitored and watched position in any organization. And we want to take that veil away. We want to make it approachable. We want to make it understandable. We want to, it's not just some black box where, where some crazy, uh, you know, smoke and mirror strategy is designed to, to, to extract some capital from a small business owner. Marketing is really what it should be, which is sharing that passion, sharing that value in attracting the type of customers, patients, or clients that, that everyone's looking for. So we want to do that over time. We want to get kind of all up in the business of our clients and really understand where it is that, that they're trying to go. And then over time with a crawl, walk, run strategy, we want to be able to show them how we can take little steps to, to prove our worth, to develop trust, to show credibility, more importantly, to show relatability that we understand who they are and where they're going, uh, and then prove ourselves over time so that as they grow, we go. And, uh, and, and that's why the future, in my opinion, of marketing is that relationship-based marketing, that sticky marketing, a marketing that, that's delivered uh, by a real executive mentor or advisor on your board 
which is the the fractional CMO that either Chris or myself can 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 serve, uh, and we do that at absolutely no cost. That is that is just a value add to our clients. Uh, we take it very seriously. We are committed. Uh, to, to surpassing in many cases the dreams that our clients have, and that involves us uh, really becoming a partner to that organization, and uh, it's a lot of fun, and, and, and that's where I see things going. Um, what are your thoughts, Chris? Yeah, and, and just to add to that, not only the, um, the the really the assistance in the marketing, but the coaching and training, which you know both you and I have a, a background in. And, you know, we truly enjoy helping coach and train our clients um, to get better. I was just on a, a call this morning with a, a, um, a client and she told me the, the thing that re really she appreciated the most was um, the training and coaching that we had provided for her company. She said that really makes you stand out. Um, and she was giving me a referral and she said that, you know, uh, that, that they would appreciate those um, um, those attributes that typically don't come with a marketing company. So uh, we love to we love to share our our uh, you know our, our experiences and um, with our with our um, with our clients and with our audience. So that's um, it's it's just a fulfilling thing for, for both Bill and I. And that's really a commonality that brought us together.